Hey guys, it's Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards. Hope you're all doing well. This is my video ballot for the 2023 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And I have five channels that I'm going to uh, mention. The first channel, actually I have six channels, but um, one I cannot vote for yet. But I would encourage you, if you haven't seen uh, this channel, to, to check it out. Uh, the first honorable mention is actually... Terry's channel, TJ Mack Vintage Cards and Nostalgia. Uh, Terry hasn't been a channel long enough uh, for me to vote uh, vote for the channel, but it is a, uh, a fantastic channel. Terry's got a really nice collection, and I enjoy the the, the history of the the hobby that he that he discusses. Uh, the first channel that I'm actually voting for that I that I can vote for is Mike Canadian Cards. And I voted for Mike, I think a couple of years ago, uh, when uh, um, the last time I, I participated in the voting. Uh, his channel is awesome. He's I, I enjoy his sense of humor. It's dry. It's a little off color. Uh, I think we, we we kind of have similar have similar senses of humor about uh, um, YouTube and things like that. And he's a really really good guy. And I think his channel deserves more support than it currently has as well. So, Mike Canadian Cards, check out his channel. Uh, second channel is Lou Rock TV. Uh, this is a channel that uh, is inspired my channel in some respects because when I first started watching his channel, uh, no, well, number one, he's just a great hobby citizen, right? Uh, he, he's always he's. Been, I don't know how he has the time to be as engaged as he is. The guy's just so engaged with with all different channels, and you always see him replying to people, and he's always on live stream, and, you know, I, I really respect that because I, as someone, I'm not quite as involved as I should be sometimes, uh, and I, I respect people that really do play an active role in the community, and he certainly does that. And the, um, the role that his daughter plays on the channel is really cool and that's kind of inspired me to um on occasion I'll bring my kids on you know to participate in a rip or or something uh when I'm opening cards and some of that is actually for my own for my own selfish reasons right because I want I want to kind of preserve this time in their lives it's similar to taking pictures of your kids when they're young you know I can be able I can look back on my YouTube channel and say ah oh, there's Michael and Sophia, you know, opening cards with me, right? So, but I, but that is inspired from his um, his absolutely adorable daughter who is who makes appearances on his channel. So, Bob, you got the you helped uh, helped your dad get a vote there. Uh, the next channel is Jimmy Guns, and I have uh, participated in some of his auctions from uh, um, from time to time. I just really uh, think he's a, he's a really really honest, good faith actor in the hobby, and he is very straightforward and he'll tell you what he thinks. And we need more of that on YouTube. We need more of that. Uh, there's there tends to sometimes be consensus seeking behavior, right? Where if if everybody's ganging up on somebody, or if five people gang up on somebody, a sixth person will, and a seventh person will, and an eighth person will, and there's just this bandwagoning that happens, rather than stopping and saying, hey, what do I think for myself, right, regardless of what other people think, and Jimmy uh, is never shy about his opinion, and he'll, he'll, he'll go against orthodoxy on, a, on an issue, right, he's not, he's not one of these bandwagoners who's just going to pile on, and I really respect that, and he does a lot of good work for the community, and his auctions are a lot of fun, if you haven't checked them out, they're a lot of fun. Uh, the fourth channel is a channel I voted for in the past, um, and Keith just doesn't produce a lot of content, but damn it if the quality isn't fantastic whenever he does. Vintage Card Curator, Keith's channel, is just absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, he has less than 100 videos, but every single one is just compelling, interesting, uh, creative. You could tell it takes a lot of time to do a video when he, when he does one and he does a lot of research. He doesn't just, you know, shit out a video like some of us tend to do. But, um, you know, um, I really appreciate his channel. So 
Vintage Card Curator. You, you, um, you get a vote once again this year for me. And the last channel is Wade Boggs Fan, John's channel. Uh, I really, really enjoy his channel. And the reason I enjoy it is because you have to find something that makes your channel unique. And his channel is, given that it is focused on Wade Boggs, right? There's also a lot of other aspects to his collection, right? He's got his 1978 Tops uh, uh, baseball. You know, he's got some other other topics that he broaches. He does, you know, kind of market reports, you know, you know assessing, uh, uh, you know, uh, items that are selling on eBay and how much they're going for and things like this. But I really do appreciate uh, the fact that he ha his channel is unique uh, and he's a really, really good guy. My brother and I had dinner with uh, he and his wife and the National in 2021 and just a great guy uh, and uh, really enjoyed getting to know he and his wife and I'm sure we'll run into each other this year at the National. Go to the National, everybody, if you're not going. Um, but those are, my, those are my five votes. Yeah, those are the five channels and I think they're all worthy and, you know, there's no right or wrong answers here. Um, but hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for uh, watching. Keep collecting vintage unopened baseball. Take care of each other, everybody.